Hi students, today I am going to explain how to determine the radius of curvature of a given spherical surface. In this case, is a, a convex lens using the spherometer. The spherometer we have a two scales. One is the main scale, another one is the circular scale. So in the circular scale, we have a hundred division. It starts from zero and uh, end with the hundred. So we have a uh, four legs in the spherometer. Three legs are fixed. This and this and this. Three legs are fixed. So the center leg is movable one. So if you are rotating my center, uh, circular scale, it's moving upwards and downwards. So using this device, I'm going to explain you to how to determine the radius of curvature of the given lens. So first, I'm going to explain the theory part. So the aim to determine the radius of curvature of the given spherical surface formula r equals to l square by 6h plus h by 2. So what is my l? So it's the average distance between the legs of the spherometer and the height is the height through which the central screw has been turned with the flat surface. So first I'll explain the uh, how to determine L and H value. So first I am going to take the spherometer to find the L value. So I am going to place the paper. So we have an impression here. After getting the impression, I am going to join all the lines. So between the A and B, the distance is 3.2 centimeters. Distance between B and C is 2.9 centimeter. The distance between C and A is 3 centimeters. If I take the average, uh, 3.2 plus 2.9 and 3. If I take the average, I am getting 3.03 centimeters. So this is the L value we are going to use in this formula to find the radius of curvature. Next, I will explain how to find the h. So, before going to find the h value, I am going to explain you to how to find the least count of the spherometer. So, in this case, what is meant by least count? Least count is nothing but my the pitch scale reading divided by number of divisions in the circular scale. So, in this circular scale, we have a so classically we have a 100 divisions. So denominator there is no problem. So we can simply say 100. What about pitch? What is my pitch value? The pitch value is equal to the distance moved in the main scale reading when I rotating divided by number of rotations. For in this case, for I am going to take my main scale reading shows 0 here, here, here also it is going to be 0. So first I am going to rotate up to 5 rotations for example. So I am going to rotate here. One full rotation. And two rotations. And the third rotation. And fourth rotation. And after completion of 5 rotation in the circular scale, the number of divisions moved in the pitch, uh, main scale reading. This case is going to be 5. So, the distance moved here is going to be 5 milli, yeah, 5, 5, 5 millimeter divided by 5. It is going to be 1 millimeter. So, the distance moved in the H scale is 5 millimeter. So, 5 millimeter divided by number of rotations is 5. So, the pitch value is said to be 1 millimeter. So, if I substitute this millimeter value, this pitch value here, then I can simply say 1 millimeter divided by 100. This is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter. Or I may write 0 0.001 centimeter. So this is the 
least count of the given square of meter so this is how we are going to find the least count so using this value i am going to explain how to determine the h so now i am going to use the spherical surface here i need a, a piece of paper and the spherometer so now all three legs is not are not equal so using the flat surface i can find so this is not equal so i am going to rotate again five rotations anti clockwise direction 1 2 3 4 5 if i place here this is in stable state so when you have placed your pyramid on the flat surface so all four legs are should be equal then only i can say there is no error in the pyramid so now my main scale is shows zero and my circular scale also shows the zero value so what i'm going to do here i'm now i'm going to place the spherometer on the spherical surface so now i am going to rotate upwards so now i am going to insert this paper inside so my paper is easily moving to the middle middle leg so now i'm going to rotate downwards so now i'm checking here now even now it is moving now i'm checking now we even now also it's moving so there's a gap between the lens and the leg now i'm inserting this paper so if i inserting this paper there is a it's not moving inside okay so even now there's some some gap if i insert this now there is some there is no gap between the legs and the lens of this parameter so now i'm going to take the reading so without any changing i'm going to read the take the reading now so my main scale shows one divisions one my circular scale shows 80 82 so my main scale reading shows the main scale reading shows so my main scale reading shows 1 and uh, my circular scale reading shows 82 divisions so using these two parameters i can find the total scale reading so how can i find the total scale reading so main scale reading is 1 mm okay so my total scale reading i can simply write is nothing but main scale reading plus the circular scale reading into the least count okay so in this case my main scale reading is in millimeter so i have to take the least count in millimeters 0.01 millimeter so my least count is going to be 0.01 millimeter so if i substitute this value is here am i right main scale reading shows 1 mm plus what is my circular scale reading 82 into 0.01 mm so am i right is going to be written as so 1 plus so if i calculating here one i'm getting my total scale reading is nothing but total scale reading is nothing but 1.82 mm 
so this is nothing but the reading with the convex lens is it be 1.82 mm so next uh, the reading with the glass plate which means i need a flat surface to find the uh, r2 okay so instead of taking a glass plate i'm going to consider this is my flat surface or i can use yeah this is my flat surface okay this is my glass plate i'm considering this as a flat surface so i'm going to place this here now so now i'm going to insert this paper strip in the middle rod it's going middle leg it's going to inwards it's going into the easily so now i'm going to change the value so now if i insert this now my paper is going into this there is no contact between your center leg and your flat surface so now again i am rotating now so now again i am going to insert this so now the paper is not moving so there is a contact between flat surface this flat surface and the center leg so now i am going to take the reading now so now my reading shows in the main scale reading it shows zero but in the circular scale reading it shows what 6 okay so this is my 6 so now i'm going to find the r2 value so my main scale reading if i main main scale reading shows 0 but my circular scale reading shows six divisions which means my total scale this is for r1 and this for r2 i'm writing so my total scale reading shows so for main scale reading it's going to be 0 plus so circular scale reading 6 into least count is 0.01 mm then i may write is going to be 0.06 mm so this is my r1 this is my r2 so here i'm going to substitute 0.06 mm so i'm going to subtract these two so if i subtract my r1 and r2 i'm getting my h value is 1.76 mm so i'm taking only one observation similarly you have to take three observations okay so three observation generally we get the better approximation so i know the value from this here L value from here, my L value is zero three point zero three centimeters. So this is one point seven six millimeter. So I'm going to substitute my L value and the H value in this equation and find to find the radius of curvature. So I'm going to convert everything into centimeters. So my L value is in three point zero three centimeter. H value is 1.76 mm to convert from mm to convert cm is 0.176 cm so this is my r equal to l square by 6h plus h by 2 cm so if i substitute my l value here and h value here after solving this i'm getting my radius of curvature of the given the spherical surface in this case is going to be a, a convex lens is 8.781 cm so this is how we are going to use the spherometer to find the the curvature the radius of curvature of the given spherical any given any spherical surface okay not only for the convex lens we can solve for the concave lens we can solve for the concave mirror or convex mirror so what are the spherical surface we are using the spherometer we can find the the radius of curvature of the given spherical surface so if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching